Tired of seeing soil patches and not having beans for them? Figure you need something better to wear on that marvelous Hillian head of yours? Going crazy trying to find each and every gold sculpture in the game? Never fear, Beat It is here with your tips, tricks, and glitches for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. When you head to Zora's Domain for the first time as a kid, there really isn't much need to spend any many rupees, as if there really is throughout the game as it is. So we can spare the rupees now and buy from the Magic Bean Man. Now, there are a few things you must know about this, uh, businessman. First off, the first bean will cost 10 rupees, but each one will go up 10 rupees in price as you buy them. The cocksucker says popularity is getting better, but we all know he is just pawning his snacks off for a high price onto our young hero. So let's do some math. The max amount of beans you will need is 10. So for each one to raise up by 10, the total cost for what you will need is 550 rupees. But dang, B-Dude, how can I get that many rupees so early without busting my hump? Let me tell ya. If you feel like being a real go-getter and like traveling, you can always break the soldier's pots, run back and forth between wall refills, and... No, 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 just, just no. First off, that's not a bad idea for your first wall refill. Secondly, you better find at least 10 gold skull tulas. If you can't find that many by this point, may God have mercy on your soul. See, this will get you the adult's wallet and 200 rupee capacity. So once you fill up at the soldier's pots, you can go back and this will get you your first five beans. You can now go to the frogs at the river and play three of the four songs we have, which will be Zelda's Lullaby, Sun Song, Surya Song, and Ipana Song. You'll have max out rupees right now. See the Bean Man again and spend it all. Now you're gonna head back and play the last song we have access to as of right now, and you should have 120 rupees. This is where you'll need to head back to the soldiers' pots and get refill on the rupees again. Go visit Mr. Magic Bean Man for the last time and get the remaining two beans. Now you have all the beans you will need in the game. Happy planting! Welcome to today's episode of The Deadliest Catch. Today, we are heading out to the Helian Lake Fishing Pond in search for one of Hyrule's most treasured and forbidden catches, the Fisherman's Hat. To catch this nasty beast, you only need two things, a good rod and the hands of a surgeon. Now this is the tricky part. You must simply aim your rod at the shopkeeper's head and voila, easy as pie. Now you may be asking yourself, Be dude, what can I do with it? Nothing. Be dude, what's its purpose? Uh, it doesn't have one. Be dude, can I keep it? No. Be dude, what's the point? <laughs> I mean, come on, it, it, it's cool. You just stole the fisherman's hat, fly fishing style. I mean, come on. Y you're gonna have to give it back, though. Now, the big one. Going crazy trying to find all those gold skull tulas? Well, here's a cheater's way of getting it maxed out. You must have at least become an adult for this to work. You will need the Song of Storms, as well as a boomerang and bombs. Be sure to save it often so you don't screw yourself over on this trick. Now head over to Hyrule Castle as a child, the derby do you need the boomerang. Go in to the tree inside the castle fence and play the Song of Storms. OMG, Bee Dude, a hole! Yes, my young Padawans, a hole. Inside it is a blow upable wall. Yeah, I made that a word. Actually, there are several, and this will be important. One will contain just a regular skull tula. One will contain shrubs for you to keep your bomb supply up. And the last one, a regular skull tula and a single gold skull tula. But B dude, how is this gonna work with just one gold skull tula? Simple. Kill it to display the token. Now hit it with the boomerang and jump back or roll forward back into the portal. This is where timing is important. You want the text to appear, but not all of it, just partial. The sound can ring as well, you know, a little doo 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 doo. You will appear above the ground again with one extra skull tool in your possession. Good job. But B dude Okay, seriously, just let me finish. Back inside the hole is the all familiar sound of the gold skull tool. It's back! This is something you can rinse and repeat over and over until the desired number, which is well a hundred. Now you can go over a hundred. Just the text will appear red and it really doesn't do anything and I think if you go high enough you can actually glitch out your game and it can crash and you know just, just minor details other than that happy hunting
Thanks for watching today's video of tips, tricks, and glitches, and if you enjoyed it, be sure to check out some of our other stuff. We have Killing Floor, Minecraft, some Boss Gauntlets of other videos, and Drunk Super Mario World. Be sure to check those out, and have a good day. This is B-Dude saying see you guys next time from the Killing Floor, guys.